Okay, I'm back. See what this guy says. A former Hillary Clinton advisor. Because uh, U.S. by under Obama paid a hundred grand to Russians selling dirt on Trump. I suppose that's not the dossier by Christopher Steele. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Yeah, by the nature of sure, and I'm glad that we did. That's all I'm glad too. But that was an exchange. So they were trying to compare. This is a Hillary Clinton advisor. But you know what? You haven't heard about it. And that's because it was Clinton debunked. Shick, uh, exactly as Ed something. was saying. Well, I don't something. know. I mean, I guess it's just, look, there's a lot that we don't know. And so, I, you know, I don't want to presume anything ever. But the bottom line is our government paid $100,000 of our that money. That is true. Our to money. Buy fake okay. To buy the fake. What would be the I would like to make $100,000. I got a lot of stories that <laughs> to sell. Uh, I was selling for 10 grand, actually. Who, by the way, was a lot under less. FBI surveillance going back to 2013. Nothing to do with the president's uh, campaign. So that's he, the guy got uh, spied his on. His contacts warranted uh, multiple surveillance warrants. Starting in October of 2016, I suppose. four more times, and mind you, do the math, four more times takes you into the Trump in administration. Trump I'm aware of that, campaign. and you, like a lot of people who've abandoned concerns about civil liberties, are assuming that uh, because someone is under surveillance, he's done something wrong. Whereas I would argue that the onus is on the government yeah, to they use that. America. They I use the FBI to, to spy on, on so-called opposition. Uh, uh, that's Stalinism. That the opposition no candidate, who is uh, uh, just a regular civilian, he never held one day. Donald Trump never was ever, ever any, not even a county clerk of any sort. So that's scary. We do know that. And we know that I mean, it could be you. You could be uh, working in a restaurant. You have no way to fight back. I mean, at least Donald Trump had, like, lawyers and stuff. And thank God he got elected. Otherwise, this is all going to be swept under the rug. And uh, uh, we would be just like Europe. We we'll have freaking uh, attack ISIS every day in uh, uh, Obama or Clinton I mean, would say you have to use some kind of uh, political restraint. No, it's called strategic restraint. Yeah, your restraint works so good. Warm beer son got killed, tortured every day as your, your strength, strategic strength, restraint. That's the word. <laughs> I can't Our believe they come up with good fucking words. They do jack squat, but put their thumbs in their asses. Freaking Clinton, Obama, the same. Auto warm beer. Just think about auto warm beer. Torture in North Korea. They left him there to die. And guess what? Donald Trump rescued him as soon as he got in office. But he was already a vegetable. So, let's just assume if Trump was in office, my God, he would have been alive. Well, literally worse. Oh, and Donald Trump also released all these, uh, were still be in jail. Uh, these basketball players, unfortunately, they're all black. Black. For some the reason, most of the black people the I know, uh, they're, they're deceived. True, but, but look, they're like, the you know, le so deceived, totally deceived by these Democrats, and they so hate Trump, Trump for no freaking for reason. Awesome reason. I think they hate him because he's that, white. Yeah. But you assume that it's totally fine. You well, know, this is just wrong. It it's a, who will do you harm? Who will do you more harm? We have been done more harm in Obama than anybody else. President Obama and FISA started in earnest after 9-11. And I think we all learned that it's American citizens are in some way acting Like a KGB, FBI, KGB in cahoots. It's frightening, man. I'm just saying. I'm a helpless and citizen, the way, there's no reason and you can just present some phony evidences with tax dollars. They have no say. Nobody ever voted. No hearing. Nothing. No say. Uh, a down payment of a hundred thousand dollars could have been a million dollars to a foreign uh, government oligarch, right? I read that Russian oligarch. And you know, you get dirt on Donald Trump, who is just a regular citizen. So it could happen to you could happen to me we learned in the new york times piece they can freaking ago, frame you US for all you know under the trump administration paid a hundred grand to get salacious information and apparently false information on trump does that sound kind of just like really business as usual to you no way no way these people are gonna go 
our jail. Are you crazy? They've been stealing from us. It's one thing to go out and spend money uh, potentially getting information on a sworn enemy of the United States. It's another to go out and yeah. spend. Uh, yeah, they're treating Donald Trump as a sworn enemy of the United the States. In chief. This is, if that's, again, if that yeah, doesn't and, and freak you out, according to the I'm Trump pretty freaked out. Information that suggests Because they can target you and they can target me. It was information of a Fucking deep state. That's why we need to not just drain the swamp. Uh, we need to get all of the swamp creatures into the paddy wagon. <laughs> Anyone so who speak. claims Trump was spied on by the Obama administration yeah. as a nutcase or Alex Jones or whatever. Right, or right. They type. used to say that. I They'll remember that during the like, yeah, of course, campaign. It's totally normal for one administration to spy on a rival presidential campaign. Like, no big deal. What is bullshit? This is a story. Not with tax dollars. Are you out of your fucking mind and paying Russians? And paying some ex- uh, Turns out it was a British agent. I, I don't know. Christopher Steele is a British agent. Possibly have been used it's as just part not. Of Turns out uh, it was. Then we're it's not kosher. It, it stinks. It stinks. 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 Get them. Get them. Get them. Uh, now we're told. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter because it wasn't really spying on the Trump campaign. It was spying on a man who'd already left the campaign. Only that's not true. Oh. Oh. So you can just spy on anybody because you don't like the way they look? Or what's the deal? You do not like my accent. You don't like like my eyes could be for any freaking reason they just don't like you spy on you with your own money they freaking kill you just like china they kill you and bill your family 50 cents for the bullet this is how insulting without trial they kill political prisoners and this is the way that we're marching onto with obama and clinton like i said china has been doing it successfully the Communism is deceiving the people at first, uh, pretending they're for the little guys so they can take down everybody else, take down the knowledge, take down the history, tore down uh, statues and monuments, just like what they're doing to our country. Why do you think all of a sudden they want to tear down Robert E. Lee's monument? It was there for hundreds of years. No blacks were even complaining. All of a sudden, now it's a problem. It's a provocation by the free freaking left the evil left george soros she said and the american yeah. public deserves to see it and judge it with their own eyes yeah, it, the embarrassment of <laughs> so memo says that's your way so key to have a fire shot warrant to them. so they this is baloney them, this is like cartoon you can just draw up a, a picture and then say this freaking and court, it just a FISA, a secret court. They rubber stamp it and say, oh, you spy on somebody. And then we can arrest them because this is all evidence. Fake evidence. I'm outraged. Okay. Uh, tired too. I'm gotta eat something.